In the world of measurement, there are basically two kinds of measurements that you need to remember and be able to use. There are scalar measurements and there are also vector measurements. So what is the difference between the two? Well, let's take a look at some examples. First of all, we'll look at some scalar measurements. And as an example, let me give you this scalar measurement. How about 20 centimeters? Like all scalar measurements, this scalar measurement has two parts. It has a quantity right there. And it also has a unit of measurement. And there are lots of different scalar measurements, such as 10 kilometers. How about 3 degrees Celsius? That's a scalar measurement. It has a quantity and a unit of measurement. How about 30 grams? It has a quantity, 30, and it has a unit of measurement, the gram. So what makes a scalar measurement a scalar measurement? Well, all scalar measurements include both a quantity and a unit of measurement. 35 seconds. 10 hours. Those are scalar measurements. They always have a quantity and a unit. So what separates them from vector measurements? Watch this. Here are some examples of vector measurements. An example of a vector measurement might be something like 20 centimeters. East How about 10 kilometers west? How about 15 kilometers up? Or 30 newtons, which is a unit of force, a push or a pull, 30 newtons left. And you can probably guess right now what the difference is between a scalar measurement and a vector measurement. What does a vector measurement have that a scalar measurement doesn't? You can see it right here. Vector measurements have not only a quantity, and a unit of measurement, but they also have something very different, something very important. They also include this, which is a direction. And all vector measurements have that. They have a quantity of measurement, they have a unit of measurement, and they have a direction. 10 kilometers west. That has a quantity unit of measurement and it has a direction. 15 kilometers up it has a quantity, it has a unit of measurement and it also has a direction up. It doesn't have to be a map direction north, south, east or west. It can be some other direction up or left or right or towards John's house. All vector measurements include those three things. They include a quantity, a unit of measurement, and some kind of direction. And that's what separates vector measurements from scalar measurements. And that's what you want to remember. The difference between scalar measurements and vector measurements is that vectors include a direction.